Tonight on Paige's Kitchen, I am on a mission, a mission to convert someone to eat cauliflower. My photographer, editor, Adam, when I told him we were making cauliflower tonight, I got that look, you know, the look that people give you where like, oh, I don't like cauliflower. Well, I'm gonna convert him today. I'll show you what we're using. All right, we're using fresh cauliflower. We'll also be using a little bit of olive oil, some Italian seasonings, some garlic salt. This is a mixture of both Parmesan, uh, Parmigiano Reggiano cheese and Pecorino Romano. It's grated. There's the garlic salt there and homemade breadcrumbs. All right, let's talk about the breadcrumbs for just a second. We're going to roast this cauliflower, but in breadcrumbs, you really do need to make them homemade if you want them to taste good. This is, I took one baguette, cut it into small slices, and then put it inside the food processor and then just pulsed it a bunch of times until it ended up like this. So nice and uh, nice big pieces, or small pieces actually. And then go ahead and put it into the oven, 300 degrees for 10 minutes, and it'll dry it out. And then let it completely cool before you put it in the bag. You don't want there to be any moisture in the uh, and the breadcrumbs at all. It makes such a huge difference. I won't use all these today. The ones that are left, I'll just put in the freezer so the next time I want to make cauliflower or maybe a casserole, I'll already have the bread, breadcrumbs made. All right, now here's the cauliflower. I've already, this is one head here. Let me show you real quickly how to go ahead. I've already washed this. Cut your cauliflower into four pieces and then just go down through with a knife moving away from you. Go ahead and take out that core, and then you can just break it apart so easily like this. Uh, if you wanted to make this recipe for um, two pieces or uh, two heads of cauliflower, that would be great. I think the more the merrier one that comes to this. It's so delicious. I'm not going to be measuring a lot of things today. This is one of those recipes that's really not necessary. The important thing is, is that you want the cauliflower coated with olive oil. So I'm going to start by adding just about a tablespoonful and I'll shake it around and see how it looks and make sure that it's all coated. This will make sure that the breadcrumbs stick to the cauliflower. We'll be roasting this at 400 degrees for about 20 to 25 minutes and then I'm going to give it a little stir and let it cook for another 10 minutes because I want to make sure that the breadcrumbs are nice and toasty. So let's keep tossing this about for just a second. Looks like I could use a little bit more. I think cauliflower is a very underrated vegetable. And a lot of it is the, the, your preparation. Growing up as kids, we used to have cauliflower, and my mom would serve it with cocktail sauce. I know that sounds crazy, but it was called poor man's shrimp cocktail. So if you've never tried it like that, do. All right. Here's the breadcrumbs now. I'm going to go ahead and add this cheese to the breadcrumbs. This is about a cup that's in here. I'll add the garlic salt and the Italian seasonings. Again, I'm not measuring this. I'm doing this all by eye. But the recipe I put online, I'll put the measurements for you. But when you make something a lot, you, don't, you stop measuring unless it's baking. Baking's exact. So, now I'm just going to pour some of this mixture in, on the cauliflower and then I'll put the cauliflower onto the sheet pan. This has non-stick foil on here. I don't know if you've used that non-stick foil, the, but it is the bomb. It really works great. And I'm going to give this a good toss around and make sure this is all nice and evenly coated. Again, if you don't want to use Ziploc bags, you can go ahead and put this all in a bowl. Just make sure everything is coated. It's looking pretty good. Might add a little bit more. I think you'll like having the breadcrumbs in the freezer. Again, this whole bag was just one baguette cut up. It's a great way also to use any leftover bread you have or rolls. Um, groceries are expensive right now, so I don't like to waste anything. So if you have bread left over, a loaf there, don't waste it. All right, we're going to pour this on the baking sheet. Then I'm going to smooth it out. 
This will bake. You try to make sure your pieces are uniform. This will bake again for about 25 to 30 minutes. I'll check it and then we'll go ahead and stir it around. All right, let's get this in the oven. All right, let's check this. Oh, this is nice and brown. If you like, um, with your breadcrumbs, if you wanted to add a handful of panko breadcrumbs in with these, you could have done that, and that would make it ex extra crispy. So we're going to leave this in the pan for probably about uh, at least five minutes to let it cool off. You couldn't eat it now. It's too hot. And we'll let this rest, and then we'll go ahead and get it ready to serve. All right, I've let this cool off a little bit. All I need to do now is add a little bit of finishing salt on the top. A little bit of extra cheese and some pepper. And a few minutes ago, while it was cooling, Adam went ahead and uh, stole a little piece. So, what do you think? Okay, and I didn't tell him to say that. I think I might have converted him a little bit. But if you're trying to get someone to eat their vegetables, this is the perfect way. I know you can do this, and I really think you'll like it.